Hey there, today is a special day for women. Happy International Women's Day to all beautiful, amazing, strong, hardworking, independent women out there. You are blessed and just know you are loved too. So, today I'm going to give you something nice. Because of today's special day, I'll be dropping a special issue about a prominent woman in Yoruba land, precisely Ibadan. I'm sure you're so excited! To all the handsome faces, beautiful faces that are going to watch this video, let me just tell you something. You're not alone in this Yoruba that is happening in Nigeria. We're all experiencing it. So, just stay happy and just stay cool. Today, history is about a prominent, wealthy, fierce, brave woman in Yoruba land. I'm sure you guys are so curious to know her, right? Don't worry, I'm going to give you our history. Just stay tuned. I'm discussing about our history today because of the International Women's Day we are celebrating today. I'm sure some people will be saying, hmm, maybe it's familiar as some kuti. It is not familiar as some kuti. Who is this anonymous woman we are talking about today? It is a full sheton and a full I'm sure people will be like, ah, Talon Jebe, who's been a full sheton and a full So just come along with me and let's learn about our history. As an historian, I'm going to give you so many information about Efusheton Anifura. As your historian, Ooh, okay. grab a seat, a popcorn, and whatever you want to take with the popcorn, and sit tight to explore the issue of Efusheton Anifura. Is Efusheton Anifura. If Efusheton Aniwura was the second Iyalodi of Ibadan and one of the preeminent slave traders in the 19th century, Ifuwura was born in Ikija Egba in the 1820s. Niwura's family moved to Ibadan after the fall of Ikija in the 1820s. Her father, Chief Ogoni, was a warlord from Ikija. Her mother was from Ileife. Her entrepreneurial drive was reported as an inheritance from her mother who was a petty trader. Niwura's regular visit to the market alongside her mother further enhanced her achievement as a trader. As a successful merchant and trader, her impact encompassed the political, military, economic and religious spheres of Ibadan. Her decision to migrate to Ibadan was mainly for two reasons. Firstly, at the time, her cousin was a prominent leader in the city. Secondly, due to the enterprising nature of the town Ibadan at the time, in comparison to other locations, she could start a successful business there. Reported to have had about 2,000 slaves and multiple farms, exporting agricultural produce to Porto Novo, Badagri, and Ikorodu. She was famous for being the most powerful and certainly one of the wealthiest Yoruba women that ever lived. Efusheton's major line of trade were tobacco and slave trading. Sheton Aniwura has been described by historians as an authoritarian leader who often utilized capital punishment on erring slaves. Oh, this has been attributed to the psychological breakdown resulting from the death of her only daughter and her inability to procreate afterwards. So, to show you how important Efusheto Aniwura was in the history of Yoruba land, so many film producers did a movie concerning her history and this movie were named after her Efusheto Aniwura. This movie described how she maintained no slave in her household should get pregnant or get anyone pregnant and instituted death as the penalty for default house. This movie also revealed that during her lifetime, she had ordered the decapitation of 41 of her slaves for flouting her rules. It revealed in this movie that during the 1860s, she was made the second Yalodi of Ibadan. She was also made a patron of the Anglican Church in Ibadan for her involvement in strengthening Christianity in the community. These are the clips from the movie. Unfortunately, she was deposed as Iyalode by Arela Tosa on May 1st, 1874 for politically motivated allegations despite paying all the fines levied against her. Sadly, Aniwura was killed in her sleep by two of her slaves in 1874 
they had been instructed to do so by her adopted son Kumuyilo. Kumuyilo was in turn bribed by Arela Tosa, the ruler of Ibadan at the time. It was stated that Latosa felt threatened by her wealth and disobedience towards him. That is all I can say about Efusheto Anufuwura. You can just go go online or check YouTube to watch our movie. Thank you very much. There is no picture of her on the internet, so you can just manage this. Bye bye. Thank you.